So the Eiffel Tower doesn't look much from a distance. In fact, my husband really doubted that what we're seeing was actually the Eiffel Tower. Once you get closer, it starts looking a little better. The wrought iron lattice work of the tower is kind of attractive and you can really admire it from the base of the tower. It's a good selfie spot. Although we had top floor tickets, uh, the top floor was closed due to bad weather. So we could go only till the second floor. We got a refund for the top floor. To reach the second floor, you can either climb up 600 steps or take the elevator. We chose the simpler van. Second floor, everybody gets off here. So when Gustav had a body competition here in France, he quickly had to put his design. Gustav got the patent right and improved on the already existing design. He thought it wise that having such a big monument on only two pillars wouldn't have given it the stability it deserves. So he had to improve and have four pillars. Right now we have four pillars. But before it was built in France, he actually introduced the monument to one of the countries within the EU. Besides, they never liked it at first. The country also said that it looks so huge. They were afraid it could fall and kill their people. The Eiffel Tower was the first structure to cross the 300 meter mark. He did not use very heavy metal. The weight of the tower is 10,000. Let me show you the view from the second floor. You can see the Seine River on which the tower is located, and almost all of Paris. Disappointing in daylight. I'm sure it looks much more impressive if you come uh, when it's dark and all the lights in the city are on. Unfortunately, that's a very limited window. The tower itself is lighted up at night and we were fortunate to witness it during the Seine River cruise. <laughs>